one, don't rush. That is the biggest thing. You want to wait until they are ready. Because if they're not ready, they're not going to potty train. You can't force someone to do something that they don't want to do or aren't interested in doing. I know with us, we tried potty training Caden when he was probably just after he turned two and he just wasn't ready. Uh, he wasn't interested, it was a lot of accidents and it actually made it more stressful on us. So we had decided to scratch that, we could just tell he was not ready and we tried again three months later and we were able to potty train him within three days. So it really made a huge difference. So that's the number one tip I have for you. Wait until they're ready, don't try to rush it. You have all the time in the world to teach them. It's not a big deal if they're not trained by two or by one and a half because they're going to eventually get it. Tip number two, make it exciting. Bring them along with you. Get them really excited that they're going to potty train. Let them pick out some underwear. With Caden, we took him and he got to pick out some Cars underwear, some Thomas the Train underwear, and Mickey Mouse Clubhouse because those are his favorite. So he picked out some underwear and we also took him to pick out a potty. So he got to pick out his very first potty which was really exciting because he could not wait to get home and to use it and it just made it a lot more fun. Tip number three, don't punish accidents. Praise them. You're trying to get them excited to pee. So if you're going to scold them for peeing on the floor, it might make them scared to pee altogether. And then it's going to make it really hard to potty train. With Caden, when he had an accident, yay, Caden, you went pee. But you know where pee goes? Pee goes in the potty. So next time we're going to try and go in the potty. And we would still get him excited. We didn't want to punish him for going pee because that was just going to confuse him. Um, so we just wanted to praise him for going pee and then just direct him where he needs Tip number four, naked time. I'm going to let you guys know this is what helped us the most is we just allowed Caden to be naked for three days. So you're going to have to dedicate some time to be at home or make sure around people that you don't mind him being naked around like grandma or grandpa or aunts or uncles or something like that. But we just had to dedicate three days to naked time. That way when he pees, he could physically see himself peeing on the floor and it helped a lot because he would realize and he'd go, oh, and freak out because he'd see the pee coming out and we would direct him to the potty and he would finish on the potty. Another reason why naked time can work, that way the underwear doesn't confuse them with a diaper because sometimes feeling so snug in the underwear can also confuse them and they'll still go pee. So we just found being naked all together. And then when we did decide to venture outside the house, we didn't put him in underwear either. We would just put him in loose sweats so that way he still didn't feel like we were putting him back in a diaper. So until we really knew he had the hang of it, especially going outside the house, we just put him in loose sweats and so he still had that feeling of kind of being naked in a sense. And my last tip, tip number five, is incentive. Give them some sort of reward for when they do go pee or poo on the potty. One thing we did is we had jelly beans and we would give one jelly bean for peas and two jelly beans for poos. And he got really excited because he knew if he went in the potty, he would get a treat. And it was very, very exciting for him. Now, it doesn't have to be candy if you don't want to give them... Potty, potty, potty. Do you have to go potty? Yeah. Okay, let's go potty. Now it doesn't have to be candy per se, you can choose something else if you don't want to give them candy. It could be like a little toy, you would have a bin of certain toys and he gets to pick a toy out of the bin to play with. So it kind of switches things up. And just find what works for your kid, what is going to motivate them. Give them something to be motivated because then they'll be excited that they get a reward afterwards. Those are my five tips that I want to share with you guys to help with potty training. These are things that really, really helped us when we were trying to potty train Caden. And using these five tips allowed us to potty train him in three days and we were able to leave the house and feel confident that he wasn't going to have an accident. We do put him in pull-ups every once in a while when we're going to be going on a long road trip and we still do put him in pull-ups at nighttime because he isn't fully potty trained at nighttime. So maybe that will be something I continue on once I get him fully potty trained at nighttime, what we did to help with that. But yeah, anyways, that is all for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you aren't subscribed, please do because I put out a new video every single week. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye!